all they do is suck on wood all day. I'm gonna be honest with you, I, now I know how people feel when I tell them to feed my snake. Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. I am still down here in sunny Florida. I've got Paul Cafero in the house. I've been traveling with Savannah as always and guess where I'm at right now. If you guys guess Camp Cannon, you're 100% right. I've not seen this amazing pond for my friends from Aquascape yet, so let's go ahead and meet up with Kenan and start this amazing day. Of course, here's my yes. boy Kenan. What is up, brother? What's How you doing, on? man? This place looks absolutely insane, dude. Man, I can't believe it. I mean, you know Greg from uh, Greg DePond Guy and his Aquascape team, they came down and they just created what I consider to be uh, my favorite part of the yard now. Just this swim pond's gonna be so much fun to do a lot of videoing and uh, hanging out with the animals. We're gonna have African cichlids in there. So it'll be really fun to snorkel in. Kenan obviously does a bunch of cool videos. I'll put a link in the description to his channel. Uh, all kinds of really cool animals. And you do some stuff with swimming with. So yeah, I'm assuming definitely. you're gonna do some swimming that's with here. The, that's what's gonna happen is we're gonna continue to do the swimming with series. We're gonna have uh, some underwater. Think of it like an underwater set. Nice. All yeah. right, so we'll be able to get some really cool shots of the animals swimming naturalistically. And uh, it'll look better than a pool. Good times. Uh, so I want to show Savannah some of my favorite critters. Come on in, Savannah. This hey! is Slinky. This guy's awesome, man. He's kind of famous. Uh, those of you who've watched Brian's channel and my channel, you've seen him all the time. But he just gets more and more relaxed and tame. And uh, this is his little home, and he's always looking for food. And recently, I dug up some sulcata eggs, but the they kind of got smashed. Yeah. So bad for me, good for Slinky, because he gets to eat all the uh, eggs that have been kind of smashed and I can't incubate. Uh -huh. But he's a really awesome little dude. Love him. And uh, he's just really smart, man. Monitor lizards, smart animals. This is crazy. So, yeah, he's an awesome man. He's super inquisitive. He just wants something to eat. Uh -huh. Hey, buddy. You're so cute. Hey guys. These, for what's going on. these guys I've had since 2004, man. You had babies from these? Uh, I did. I get them every once in a while. But you know what? The last couple seasons, I think they've been going through a lover's quarrel. Very oh, sad no. because they haven't really um, bred. So I'm thinking I'm going to have to separate them. But i got to build another enclosure um, that's big enough to house either the female or the male. You know, I hate to kind of pull them out of here because they've been living in here since they were hatchlings at about ah, that big. Yeah. So they've grown up in here and that's part of the reason they're so chilled out because they've always seen people in here. They just kind of like realize that this is just normal when people come in to visit and scratch them and they really respond well. I call these, these are the most like dogs out of any lizard oh. I've ever had. You know, they're definitely uh, like a Flintstones pet because <laughs> they just love when you scratch them. I love them. Well, you gotta walk through enclosures to get to enclosures. So this is the cherry head enclosure, but no one's out. They'll be out in a little bit once they hear us going. And then since you wanted to see the adult rhinos, this is Petro and Petra. They're rock iguanas. Yeah, petrified, you know, I was oh, going with yeah. the whole rock theme when I named them. <laughs> uh, this, this uh, let me tell you, I, I built this for Quasimodo, the yes. hunchback. Um, I wasn't, a, I'm not a very good carpenter. So what happens is I, uh, I just, start building <laughs> and uh, that's what's kind of fun about my channel you'll see I just start building things um, and I've learned as I go that um, there's proper ways to do things you see and I should have made this at least six foot tall that would have been good right but now we're all hobbits and we're coming in here and uh, much like they did in the old Sinbad movies uh, they use rhino iguanas as the dinosaurs so here we go here comes Petro that's the male and let's see if he's interested in any cactus. Come here, buddy. Easy, easy. That's a boy. And then, of course, the little Greek tortoises love some cactus, too. Oh, look at this. It's like a snapping turtle. This thing's a lunatic. If you're a cactus, this is your worst nightmare. Look at this. But these guys are great. That's what the baby was from. So I love these lizards. These came from my friend Starborn, um, Dave Morningstar. They have a beautiful home with beautiful animals. They do such a great job. So I acquired these guys about five years ago now and they've been reproducing for me, so it's really neat. Um, and again, if you guys really love Cyclora, uh, you gotta go check out our buddy Ty Park on Instagram, because that dude, he's the lizard king. Oh, you guys remember Socrates. There's socks for short. And then somewhere is Darwin and Nostradamus. But that's what's kind of fun. We have to look for the tortoises. And even 350 pound tortoise can hide very well. But hey, I hear something rustling. 
So that's what's fun about living here at Camp Cannon is you get to go into the jungles of South Florida and you find giant tortoises. Oh my God. There is Darwin, man. That is huge. He's so it's, big. It's a girl, actually. Oh, I, a girl. I tricked you. I faked you out. Now, I didn't name her, but um, she grew up. Uh, she was a little tortoise, came from uh, Abbott's Turtle Farm in Cocoa Beach back in, oh my gosh, it would have been the 90s, early 90s. Went to Marin County, lived there for about 25, 24 years. Uh, unfortunately, their owner passed away uh, and they were, she was donated to the Turtle Survival Alliance and they had me fly out and get her. And so she lives here at Camp Kenna, man, it's awesome. What's great is she's very happy and when she came in, she was overweight. A lot of Galapagos tortoises in captivity have uh, some swelling at the base of their neck, and we don't exactly know exactly what that is. However, um, my anecdotal evidence, this isn't scientific, but anecdotally I believe it's a diet and exercise thing. These animals wander all over the islands, they eat very, very low nutrient rich food, and they have to climb. So if you look over there, their water dish is built up so they have to climb up and go back down. That strengthens the back legs. And there, uh, I'm happy to report that she's now a svelte 350 pounds. She's on, she's on the Camp Cannon diet. This is Nostradamus. I got him at the Daytona Beach Reptile Expo in 2004, in August of 2004. Yeah, and so you've had him a long time. I've had him a long time. What a beautiful I know. This, this, oh this my is gosh, just incredible. This is incredible. And, and, it, and you know, they can feel through their shell. Yes. Uh, some people don't realize that, but they can definitely feel their nerve endings there. It's similar to uh, when we rub our fingernails together, yeah. you can kind of get a sensation. This is the radiated tortoise, a really beautiful species that if you've been following any of the news the past year, they there's been two separate confiscations of this species. So this is a highly trafficked, illegally species of tortoise from Madagascar because they're very beautiful. Uh, I think close to 20,000 animals were almost um, put into the black market, but thankfully they were stopped. And now they're back in Madagascar and with people like the Turtle Survival Alliance, they've set up uh, conservation centers in their country of origin to get those animals back to good health and then back out into the wild. But the problem is, man, with tortoises, uh, is usually, uh, and, and all wildlife, where these animals live, uh, politically, um, socially, there's a lot of upheaval. And so uh, not only do people pay the price for that, but the animals do. So if you walk by and it was, and you found one of these animals and you knew you could get like $50 and feed your family for a year, you're probably gonna take that animal and try and sell it. It's just the facts of life. Um, so we got to do better with human beings to uh, help them out and in turn we can help these animals even more. And that's that buddy. I mean, I don't really have too much going on. Oh man. no, dude, <laughs> this is awesome. I mean, and it's so absolutely beautiful. I tell you what, I love coming out here all the time. I mean, just hanging out with Ken and we've been friends forever. I love his passion for the animals, love his passion for the, the exhibits and just be building your Garden of Eden, right? That's it, man. I'm trying to create, um, you know, a lot of the people watching your channel aspire to things well when i was young i would go to the bronx zoo i would go to certain zoos and just like i gotta have that in my backyard so what i want to create is the ultimate uh reptile backyard it's not about how many animals i get it's about how much habitat can i create for the animals i do have <laughs> i tell you what i love coming down to florida and seeing all my friends like kenny but we are actually heading over to a place that is really interesting i've never been i have seen a bunch of stuff online with these guys predatory fins so really cool fish place of course i'm with paul cafaro so he is a fish guy so we're going to go check out predatory fins right now and see what we can get into and uh say goodbye to camp Ken. we just made it to predatory fins i'm pretty excited about this because I got my start actually at a fish store when I was like 15 years old, so this is going to be pretty epic. Holy moly. Look at you. Guys, take a look at this Fly River turtle right here. Oh, that is absolutely crazy. And look at these stingrays. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. There's like sturgeon in here, got a big old catfish. Wow. Oh my gosh, that thing is crazy. Oh my gosh, look at these gars, alligator gar. Oh my gosh, these things are cool as could be. Arowana up here. Those, those arowana are so cool. Take a look at this. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. Big grill. He's a pocket. Yeah, big pocket. Oh my gosh. That's so cool. Big old arapaima. Oh my gosh. Uh, 
Believe it or not, these are all little baby Paku. Oh my god. Of course, the Pakus are the ones that look like big piranha, but they don't have all the crazy teeth. But they get huge, like some of the ones in here. See that big fish right there? Right there. That's what those are. These are little babies of that big, huge fish right there. This is just so cool. Again, because I kind of started as a fish guy, I think it's amazing to be here. Look at these here. Oh my gosh. I tell you what, of course a lot of fish have changed over the years, so I'm not as adept at what they actually are, but nevertheless I think they're ridiculously cool. Take a look at that, oh my god. This place is so cool. Oh my god, there's so much cool stuff. This is really making me want to get a fish tank, guys. I tell you what, I'm going to definitely have to get Paul and my buddy Joey and all that stuff to give me some advice. I need some fish for sure. Little Oscars. Wow. I have no idea even what these are, but look at how cool they are. What? There are so many fish that I've never seen before. This is crazy. Oh, look at those angel fish. Like I said, this is so cool. Let's go look at the albino plecos, man. Oh my gosh. Again, when I was keeping fish, there were no albino plecos. So this is something brand new that I'm sure has been around for a while, but I haven't seen them because I haven't been keeping fish in a long time. Oh my gosh, look at all the arowana. Okay, so as I said, guys, we're at Predatory Fins, an awesome YouTube channel as well, so definitely put the link in the description. We will. Uh, check all these guys out. And uh, what do you got here? Tell me what you got going this, on. This is a Titan pleco. Wow. It just came in today from Colombia. Uh, but this is a beast. This guy, he see, they use their, their spikes to push fish away. And usually the spikes can grow like over five, six inches. Wow. And the same thing with their fins. If you touch, it's kind of like our nails. Oh my gosh, wow, that's so much harder than I expected. And all they do is suck on wood all day. That thing is so big, dude. That is awesome, man. Those teeth, man. That's crazy. And so, you know, again, these guys specialize in crazy fish, but a lot of unbelievably rare animals. So uh, you can check out all their stuff. I'll put all their links down there. Please show them some love. Tell them I sent you, of course. Uh, this is awesome, but we have a lot more to see. By the way, just, you know, chilling out on the couch. That's that view right there. Uh, these fish right here. This isn't too bad, man. I tell you what, I could sit here for quite a while. I mean, look at the arowana. And the arowana. Oh, my gosh. And the paku. And oh, my gosh. This is so cool. Okay, so these are a pima right here. They're huge and they're gonna explode. He's actually getting the ladder for us. It's gonna be crazy. This right here is what we're gonna feed him, I believe. So he does have silver sides, which they love, and everything in there eats silver sides. Now, this is human grade alligator. So, this is an American alligator meat. Savannah, sorry. Sustainability. Yes, uh, but these, they eat this stuff out where they're from. So they're eating like baby caimans, birds, so whatever they can get a hold of. And in this case, today it's gonna be alligators. So this should be really cool. Oh! oh, 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 oh. Alright, so I guess it's my turn to do this. I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I, now I know how people feel when I tell them to feed my snakes. Oh my God, that is just so, it is, I mean, it, you can, it hits you in the chest, it's so crazy. Ooh, doggy, that is freaking awesome. Tell you what, guys, that was crazy. I mean, what? Those are, I want to get some of those fish. They are insane. I tell you what, guys, I am absolutely in love with Larry here, the Fly River Let's Turtle. Him. Isn't it crazy? Look at him. He just comes up like this. I tell you what, I love this animal. I've actually been considering getting a couple of these 
for our front tank where Bowser is. It may be moving Bowser somewhere else. I'm not 100% sure. It's almost like these are the freshwater sea turtle in a way. Yeah, these are very friendly. <laughs> yeah, like Bowser is cool, but yeah. he hides. Exactly. So like kids could come up and come pet him. Yeah. Yeah. It would be so sick. It would be crazy. And of course, these guys are from Australia. They, Unbelievable. You can usually feed him apples, but he doesn't have any. Oh my God. They apple? eat apples? Yeah. Oh my gosh. They are so absolutely incredible. I mean, look at this guy. Sometimes they're actually called pig nosed turtles as well. Oh my gosh. He is so absolutely incredible. I tell you what, what an absolutely incredible day visiting with Cannon and then coming over here to Predatory Fence and getting a chance to feed these amazing huge Arapaima, see the Fly River Turtle and all the other amazing fish here. This has absolutely been incredible and I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Only one more day left. We're going to be hooking up with a friend of mine, Crocodile Kyle, to see some really amazing crocodiles as well as a new facility he's building. Then we're going to be heading over to Gatorland for one last time, meeting up with Jake and Brandon from D Almighty and then finally showing Paul Caffaro around Gatorland. It's going to be absolutely incredible. And then we head back and I pick up that mystery animal. So just a couple more days before you guys will find out what I am picking up. I hope that you enjoyed this journey. Your support means the world to me and I truly love you guys so much. Can you do me a couple favors before we get out of here? Can you smash that like button? Turn those post notifications on. Make a comment. Let me know what you've loved about this trip the most as well as are you excited for me to get back to the Reptarium and PHP and find out what this amazing animal is? Be kind to somebody and I promise I will see you guys tomorrow.